What's going on everyone? It's Adam here from Adam's Nintendo World and we're back with a shadow induced shaky video again because I've lost my dang tripod but Alpina, Alpina, you tell me how it's supposed to be said, came in for review today and I want to take a look at what comes in the box. This will be a very short video because there's not a whole lot to this game. When I saw it and when I was offered it I actually thought the box was going to be quite large but it's like smaller than my hand so I would consider this a small box game. In fact, we've done that little thing where you put your small box games into uh, camera boxes and this might be a game that gets put into a camera box sized or camera uh, picture box thing to be travel that we can travel around with easily. All right, let's get the lid off and see what's inside. All right, so inside you're actually gonna get a ton of rule books and it's not even a rule book as much it is as it is a rules pamphlet. And I have recycled all the rules pamphlets I don't need, uh, but there you go. And it is uh, about three fold out. So it's actually not that big. In total, that's what you're looking at. It has all the cards here, has how you end the game, how to play, all that good stuff. On the flip side, it's got more information and it's got stuff in a different, uh, it's got like a background information as well right here. So I love that, but that's that. All right, there's not a whole lot to this game, as I said, so here we go. Here are the various player pieces and I'm trying to figure out actually what they call these things. Let me see if there's a components. Um, hiker ponds. So these are hiker ponds in four colors. We have yellow, purple, red, and blue. It looks like each player is going to get those. And then we just have a deck of cards like this with different birds on them. Does it have a quick, does it have a thing on here? I think that's what this is right here. Let's give this a go. We're going to give this a go and see if we can't get this open really quickly. Maybe, or maybe I'm going to have to cut away. We're going to cut away. We're going to come back. Okay, here we go. So we're going to go through these. So this is a card. That is the terrain type right there in the bottom left. These are the victory conditions. That's the type of bird it is and a spot to put a hiker pawn. And then there's just a whole bunch of cards. Now, some of them, do they all just look the same? Are they all the same card? Oh, okay. Well, that's a little disappointing, but maybe. Okay, so there's bird cards. And then we have frog cards. So it's just the same frog on different backgrounds. And then we have whatever that is, some kind of goat thing. What else do we have? So we have goat cards, more frog cards, more bird cards, more frog cards. So there you go. You're getting an idea of what they all are. And you can see there's a bunch of different victory point conditions on the bottom. Interesting. Okay, I thought there was going to be like a bunch of different birds. Let's see what this says. This says, um, animal types. Okay, so there's only three different kinds. There's the spotted nutcracker, uh, the cane moist, and the grass frog, and then three different kinds, a lake, a mountain, and a forest, and victory conditions. All right. Well, that seems to be it. I'm still excited about it, even though there's only three different kinds of animal cards. Seems like a quick, easy game. Um, yeah. It doesn't seem a lot to this game, but I'm really excited about it. I love this right down here that talks about the... Uh, the National Park uh, in Switzerland. So I think that's really cool. It's got a lot of uh, information on how you score specific things. So here it says, you know, two victory points for each hiker pawn below this card in the same card column, regardless of color. That's kind of cool. Um, so it has all the details there, which I think is really great. There's a whole section on scoring. And uh, yeah, I'm excited about this one. I made a bit of a mess, but still excited to play this one. Anyway, if you like this unboxing, please hit that like button and subscribe. We'll have more on this game in the near future. But until next time, folks, thanks for watching. And we'll chat again real soon. Goodbye.